Okay. Makes more. It makes more sense of this. Yeah, the way he acts. But it doesn't justify the way he acts with others. Still, that's true. But yeah, but the the same saying that he was like with the wrong crowds. Sure, but. Well, you know, I, th- I think I think really he noticed before anybody else did. You know, like like Rickett took forever. You know, it's every man for himself. You have to protect yours and yours own, and and nobody else matters. You know, you come first. Yeah, and I I think that's. Wh- might be one of the reasons why Merle was such a dick starting out is because to him it's just him and his brother yeah and no one else matters but oh I have some good news oh uh, what I found a cave oh nice I I found a lot of iron but sweet yeah caves in Minecraft look amazing that's where you want to start looking yeah <laughs> more resources is less work too Oh yeah! Oh sweet! It is a nice one too. Oh, I see your name from here. Woo! Oh yeah, I can see yours. Oh, you're not that far away. Woo! Oh shit! There's bats. Oh really? Yeah. That's cool. Can you get to your cave from inside the mine? Uh, yeah, yeah. That's where I started out. Oh shit! That's how I got in. Down here. Uh, fucking water, fuck you. Swimming. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I see water. Right oh, there here. you are. Oh, switch shit. There's all kinds of coal up here. Coal and there's some iron and. Oh, shit, that's what I wanted to do. A uh, fucking bucket. Get the water here. Can we plug yeah. up that hole? Uh, let me just uh, pick up the water instead. Oh, okay. That'll be too long. Just get a. Uh... Woo! A bucket. Yeah, buddy. Some of the long distance mining in this game is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like, like 15 feet away and still hit it with your arm. Hey, man, Minecraft logic here. There you go. Yeah, but that's a good point that Merle and Daryl have never really had any scenes together. Yeah, that's what makes it even more intense what's going to happen next. Like, I don't know, I'm excited to see. You know, but, it, yeah, but, you know, the governor said, like, like right before the end, you know, it's, it's, Daryl is a terrorist, or, or D- Daryl and Merle are terrorists, right? You know, it's, it's, so there's... it's, it's their fault, you know, and technically, it is Merle's fault this happened, because if Merle had actually killed Michonne and not given up, she wouldn't have come back to the prison to go get help, she wouldn't have stabbed him in the eye and killed his zombie daughter. Oh yeah, he brought this. He brought this upon himself. I agree. Lying to the governor. Yeah, which don't lie to the governor or whatever. Never. Know. Yes. But you know, I really think that the governor is almost one of my favorite kinds of villains because he's evil to the core, but you but you kind of get why he's evil. You know. Yeah. Like more or less. Although I think you know we've we've kind of learned a little bit about his past. You know because he um he said that he he didn't. Like, he didn't really like his job. It made him do things that he wasn't proud of, etc. Um, and, and his daughter was the only thing he was proud of, basically. So what mm-hmm. What was his job? I mean, what did he have to do that prepared him to be a bastard? Well, I think we're going to actually find out in the next few seasons. Well, the next few... Well, when the, the season restarts. Yeah, because, I mean, like, more or less now, he's a warlord. Yeah. And basically, he's a warlord. Um... I, yeah, I put it in a category, that category, yeah. yeah. You know, I, I thought it was really funny that it's like the show has, like, a party member status quo. Because, like, at first they had the old dude with the the fishing cap or whatever. I forgot what his name was. Oh, uh, the he ripped. repaired the RV yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, the one, the one he gets ripped open by the zombie. But yeah. um, they had him. And then right, like right after he dies, the whole shit with the farm being attacked happens, and and Herschel joins the group. So they went from one old guy to another one. Um, oh, and the black guy too. Yeah. And, and then T Dog. Uh, that he that finally dies. Me off, man. Oh yeah, that sucked. That's... He finally dies, and then when he dies, you all of a sudden you, you get um, the black prison the other guy. black guy. Although I guess he's dead now. Yeah, he died from the big shootout going on. At... Yeah. I don't know how to get out of this place. I'm out of picks. I'm lost. Where are you? <laughs> I'm uh, I'm close. I'm uh, in the long oh. passageway. 
Hey, there you are. Uh, okay. How do I get so, out of this place? Uh, fuck. <laughs> this this is a dead end. I'm pretty sure. Okay. It should go up somewhere. Uh. Shit. <laughs> Damn it, Tyrone! We, we will spend the rest of this LP stuck in the cave. No. Ooh, some more iron though. <laughs> oh well, I guess they've got a new black person now. They've got Michonne. Oh yeah. I mean, she's she's a girl, but still. Black person. I, I guess counts. that's the best they can do. Oh, she is a fucking badass. <laughs> she is a fucking badass. Dude, why didn't she freaking kill the governor? I mean, uh, Andrea showed Andrea. up, but why didn't she kill him Andrea. anyway? Because Andrea would have been would have never known. Like she would have, she would have never believed Michonne's reasons why of killing, of her killing the governor. Yeah, that that's true. But I mean, there's got to be a little bit of the greater good going on there, you know. She, but she doesn't see it, and and Andrea, because as you can see, she is you know in love with the governor, and she wouldn't understand until she sees the governor's true colors, yeah. and I think that's what Michonne wants. Well, and well, and and you know, Andrea. Is probably the the biggest evil whore out there because sure. when, whenever yep. I mean, arguably Shane is the only real villain in the first two seasons, um, mm -hmm. or the closest one you get. In which case, um, because really in season one the zombies are the bad guys because they do all the damage. Shane isn't really evil yet. No, he's pretty good he's, guy. He's, he's a good guy, Shane. Working at it, but he, he hasn't done anything bad yet. And season two when he kills Otis. Oh, that's fucked that, up. Oh, that oh, yeah, was I fucked up. That. And then he goes back and lies to Otis's wife about what happened. But I think I'd do the same, though. I'm not, like, if it's, you know, it's the fittest of the survival, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you kill him. Well, but I mean, I mean, I figure that... I just don't see why they couldn't both have gotten away. Because, I mean... He, Otis was fat. He was fat, but, <laughs> and was a... but he shot Otis, and then they fought for, like, freaking five minutes. Um, and we, and the zombies didn't catch up until after Shane left, so. I thought that's what, what was a problem. No, because I think Shane was like getting like almost mauled by the zombies, and then Otis came back for him. He, that yeah, the first time that's what happened. Otis, Otis saved Shane the first time. I don't know how to get out of this place. Otis. That's why I'm trying to build a way. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> like we've lost our way. O <laughs> Otis sit, went back for Shane, and then but then Shane, I guess, wouldn't return the favor. You know, Shane wouldn't. G because I feel like... No, but it's like at the same time that that's where Shane killed him. Like, oh, you came back for later. me. So. It, it was later. Um, it was after that because he saved him and then they were running and then they ran out of all their ammo except for like one bullet each. And so Shane shot Otis and left him to be a... to slow down the zombies. You see, I think if I knew I was going to get like... Oh, found the exit. If I knew I was going to get like mauled by zombies or there's like a big... Holy shit, we're at the top of the mountain. Are we anywhere close to where our house is? Yep, right here. <laughs> oh, this is the tree I planted. Oh shit! What what should we name I, it? We have to name it. I thought it was Jeffrey. Oh yeah, Jeffrey. That's right. Jeffrey will oh, have Jeffrey. beacons, so we 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 will always be able to know where our house is. Because it sticks up. I like Jeffrey. Yeah, Jeffrey <laughs> is our friend. <laughs> Stroke the fairy walls. All right. I mean, yeah, I, I I agree that I I I would probably choose my life over somebody else's like that. But I feel like they, maybe just just the way they filmed it, I feel like they had a chance to get away still. Mm. And maybe Shane gave up too soon. I think I'd have to rewatch it. Yeah, it's been a while. But uh, yeah. yeah, that's art. But that's arguably when Shane started to become a, a very bad guy. But, well, that's because he, that's where he started. He's like that's when he realizes more like this is actually really survival of the fittest for real, real, the, yeah, real. You know, this is what it takes to survive. And he's like, well, he's got my woman. Rick's got my woman. I gotta kill him. I gotta get him out of the picture. Yeah, you know, he and, wants to be the alpha dog. It didn't just become protecting the wife. It became the son too. Oh yeah, you know, because he, he's like, you can't protect them. You know, I can. You're you're gonna get us all killed. Which really, Shane. I mean, they both could protect them, but I think Shane, in some situations, would have made things a lot worse than Rick would. Yeah, I, I agree. Because like he, Rick, he, Rick now he Rick has a little bit of Shane in him now, but Rick also can have has, a level head, you know. He has a more sensitive side to it. 
yeah, like, like if he has to do the bad things, he will. But that's not the first thing he thinks to do. No. Which makes him still kind of the hero. Although he's a lot less of the hero than he used to be. For, I, I think for now, when we'll... Well, Winnie, I think when they, they decide to go after uh, for Glenn and uh, his girlfriend, that's when he sh started to show more the actual Rick I like. Like yeah, the hero. He, he, ca he returned to it a little bit. Yeah. Because, like, for a while there, like... Uh, Especially right when Lori died, and like all of, all of season three, Rick was kind of a dick. Well, you know, your wife just died, and I guess that's well. But I mean, even before that, because like in season two, um, you know, Lori tells him that she had sex with Shane, etc. You know, mm -hmm. but having being pregnant, making him think that the kid could be Shane's, that drove him crazy. I, I think it's because when Lori found out and make, made uh, Rick guilt trip on it, that's when he snapped. Like, all the guilt tripping. Yeah, probably. But, uh... I hear some lava. Oh, but Rick, Rick is still kind of insane. Because yeah. Because he, he saw Shane's hallucination in the gunfight. Oh, yeah, I remember that. You know, and he's he's also heard uh, the dead people on the phone so maybe like he's like mixing the two worlds together or he's nuts he can't I don't know I think the pressure of being you know and, and your wife just died and you have a brand new daughter take I think yeah. that's the pressure is well, you know, and, getting and, to him and think about it because it's bad enough that you're, you're surviving in a zombie apocalypse but not just that you're surviving and then you, you, you also have all the responsibility of being a leader Exactly. Everybody's looking up to you, and you're like, "Fuck! I didn't ask for this." Yeah, all, all of their lives are in your hands, you know. Which I mean, it's good that he was a cop, because he he but, he's already slightly used to that. But this is way more. This is actual real life and death, yeah. like worse situations than. Uh, I I loved it when uh, when what's her name, the farmer's daughter, first tells um, the governor that they're in the prison, right? Because. Mm -hmm. The governor takes Merle back to like their plan room or whatever, and and, and he's like, you know, um, you know, they're lying. There, there can't be only eleven of them, you know. And the governor's like, well, what do you want me to do? Either um, they're lying, and there's a whole force that just moved into our backyard, or they're telling the truth, and eleven people did what you told me couldn't be done. Mm -hmm. You know, which is like. It, it really stresses the fact that, you know, they've, you know, Woodbury or whatever has been protected for a long time, you know? Like, it's not in danger really anymore. They've got it pretty stable. So a lot but of their people... it's not common. Yeah. A, a lot of their people are not survivors. They're not f ready to fight and kick ass. They're lived comfortably. Yeah, they're living comfortably. That's what they're used to. They're, I, I know what you're trying to yeah, say. And, and, and that gives Rick's group a, a really big advantage. Yeah, that's what they've been doing all winter. Yeah, but uh, I, I, I almost feel like though if they had bought enough ammo, they could have killed every all the guards there at at Woodbury though, because the guy said that there were only like seventy people total, and not all of them were guards. No, most they're like maybe seven guards. Yeah, like maybe per like, wall like or something. Everyone who like took up all their guns, like maybe like. 30 people but they even yeah. they dropped a lot of guys in that firefight at least so it's kind of hard to imagine they that they're still at like enough power to go cut like kill the prison you know i think they're probably they have the probably the same numbers of uh shooters as the there are as uh rick scoop does now yeah i think they're they're pretty equal now that's probably good because before that they just beat the shit out of them probably yeah but uh <laughs> of course you know Having like the riot gear and stuff, if they want to clean it and wear it, would be really useful. Yeah, it would be a big advantage. You know. Oh, but now, now, uh, the governor's army, I guess, has the military trucks with the machine guns and stuff. Oh, uh, but more ammo. True. Yeah, more and, like the guns. the huge machine guns are gonna make a big difference. I bet. It, it will. I'm. And I think I think in the comics true. I read. I haven't read the comics, but like I've I've looked at like forums and stuff, you know. Um, 
And I, I think the governor gets a tank. What? Yeah. Holy shit. You know, like like maybe maybe the same tank that that was in uh, uh, Atlanta, M maybe. Maybe that's a reference they're trying to make or something. Maybe to because I don't know. Maybe they took the trucks instead in the TV show because, like, I know that in the comics, Rick actually gets his hand cut off at some point. Holy shit! Which uh, the director said that he was not going to do do because that was a terrible idea. And that, that's what meant. And does in the comics do does Moral get his hand cut off? I believe he does, but I know in the comics, like the governor is like a Latino dude with like a goatee, scruffed up hair. He he already had the patch eye. He was like a oh shit. He ha he had had like a traveling group of mercenaries. So he was a little bit different. But I think I think what season one did, or what season three, the first part did. Was it set up the governor to then start doing that stuff? Oh, okay. Um, like this is why, like he, he was already kind of nuts before, but now he's just just gonna be a mass murderer. Now he's gonna be the the ones you see in the comics. Yeah. But um, the actor for him is awesome. He he is a good actor for for it. Um, but um, I I just found a um, what you call it a. Uh, Fucking, uh, you know, big deep holes there. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, like it's uh, a pit. Land a rune. Not a rune. Not a pitfall. A um. Uh, in Minecraft, you know those big. A dungeon. Kind of, but. Where. No, not a dungeon. It's uh, fu not a quarry. A uh, um. Oh my god! I look like a fucking retard right Mine now. Mineshaft. No, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I've got no idea. Shit, when you see it, you're like, oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Now. Normally, it has like a lot of resources and dungeons are normally around it. I and think I'm getting like, close to you. Uh, you're way downstairs, right? You. Wow, you've been a lot more productive than I have. Well, I got some coal, iron. Oh, and... I think I lost you. Dude, do bats steal torches? What? Like torches of like. There's areas where like, there's no torches left. Do they burn out over time? What? If they, if that happens, then fuck this, I quit. <laughs> I heard that for Oh shit, I found something red. I think I found redstone. redstone? Sweet. How do you- what kind of pick do you need to mine that? Uh, I think a, a iron pick. Okay, I better go get one then. I only have stone. Wait, so, but what I found is like a big hole, like a big line. Like like let's say you're walking on a, like on on a hill and then you see this big drop and it's like a long a canyon like kind of like a canyon yeah I I don't know what is you it call is it outside canyon. or inside but right now it's underground um but you can find them underground and I've got no idea maybe Holy I don't play shit. enough Minecraft to understand but it came out in the one point eight update like it was like a big thing. I don't know. I'm I'm back at Winston right now. But. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna make some iron picks. Sweet. Why well, am I not remembering the name? Uh, I'm I'm gonna kill someone if I don't remember. It's probably the cancer. <laughs> the cancer. The cancer. You have cancer. That's you that's a plot amazed. twist, guys. All of Santa's elves got cancer. So yeah, no Christmas this yeah, year. Yeah, no no <laughs> Christmas this year. I'm gonna have to fucking look it up because it's pissing me off. I want to know what it is. Where's my phone? <laughs> <laughs> uh, too lazy, can't find it. I hope I can find this redstone again. I think I can. But we're. we're, we're we're gonna have some redstone apparatus going on. I, I guess I've, I've I've never used it before to be honest. Like in Tech It, I guess Same. it's used a lot, and I've watched a lot of people play Tech It, but I've never played it. But like I, I guess it's used to like operate like machinery and stuff. Yeah. What is this shit? Yeah, it's redstone. Sweet, there's a whole bunch of it. Nice. All of my, you see, like I have a bad habit of when I'm talking to somebody, I just walk around and do nothing. 
Ah, uh, maybe that's why you're so not productive, Santa Claus. Well, I found, Come I on, found some redstone. <laughs> At least you're forgiven for this, but now I will fashion my Santa suit armor out of it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I've got uh, I've got 27 of it. Oh shit, yeah, that's, that's a lot. lot. I'll just dig over this way. Fuck you, bat. Go home. You're drunk. <laughs> you, you're drunk, bat. Go home. <laughs> Seriously, man. Oh yeah, you know, just I think it might be interesting to note, you know, that uh, you know, if uh. if you've watched any of my stuff, guys, you know, I'm from uh, I'm from Kansas City, Missouri, in the U.S., right? Oh yeah. And Windex is actually from uh, where are you from, Windex? I am from up north Canada, Quebec. Yeah, from Quebec, you know, which is probably like I don't know, like a thousand miles between us, maybe. Yeah. Well, we have an hour an hour difference in our timelines there, but and so that and to the north, so that's just crazy that you can connect with people like that, you know, just like off of YouTube. You you don't think about from how many different places pe people can see your stuff and vice versa. It's true. It's true. I, I don't even know how we came to contact each other, really. I think, I think I. There's like an email. Like I sent you an email. Because I watched something of yours and I wanted you to come ch check out mine. Probably. Oh shit, is it thunderstorm? What the fuck was that? Uh, I heard that from my house. That's at your place? No, I, I think it. Like, I heard it through the mic. through the headset. Oh, okay, I thought it was like. like. like, in a, like at your place in a real life. I, was I don't like, think Holy so. Shit. That would be terrible. I don't know, although <laughs> there is a slight chance of snow. Oh, right here, right now, outside, at, at, it's at like an house. ice storm here. Oh, oh, really? Oh, wow. Yep. Like, like here, like, like this, this has been like the closest to snow we've had because it's kind of rained a little bit. My my windshield frosted over after work today, so. Oh. But like this last winter was just weak. So not a, like a white Christmas, oh, really. Not, it, it maybe snowed once. It was like a few inches. Like, n oh, man. not even enough to, like, get school called off, so. Oh, God. Kind of a sucky man. Uh, that was a for you guys, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, that was a sucky year to graduate, because, like, um, I found more redstone. Sweet! I think I'm really close to bedrock. I, I already hit bedrock. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's probably why I'm seeing all this stuff. But, um, well, because the year before, the, the, the way it works in our school district is, um, or the one I was in, I guess, is there's a certain amount of days you know that you have to go to school for right to i guess count as a school year of school but if you have mm -hmm. snow days they extend your school year so you can still get all those days oh okay but if you're a senior um because graduation dates and stuff like that can't change uh if you have a lot of snow days you just don't have to make them up so you just have oh. less school so that's awesome oh yeah well the year before i graduated there were like 15 freaking snow days. Holy shit. And in the year I graduated, there was like none. And you have to go through all the fucking. Huh. Well, all the days. Well, like, oh no. Actually, there, there's a funny story here because uh, there, there was a problem. Because when they like signed the contracts for the teachers, you know, they expect mm -hmm. that there will be a certain amount of snow days, right? True. So since there were like none, the teacher contracts weren't long enough. So what? they like made up an excuse to like close down the school for a cleaning for a day or two, <laughs> wow. so that uh, it was possible that they wouldn't lose all their teachers. Wow, that's actually fucking scary a bit. That's like, crazy. Wow. But, okay, I've got wow sixty nine redstone. Holy shit! We're, we're, so, I don't know what we're gonna make with redstone. I know, I'm mining though, all this shit, and like to be honest, I've got no idea what to use it for. So maybe we should start up building a bit of Santa Claus's workshop yeah, since we have like iron. We've got iron. We've got a lot of stone. So, uh, but I want to find some diamonds though. I, I, I'll make some uh, some stone, like I guess like slabs. Oh yeah. And then we'll we'll use that for like the foundation. Perfect. So I'll 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 get ah I'll, I'll get started on that. We've, we've been talking about freaking The Walking Dead for like an hour. <laughs> but it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Oh god. Where? What was my life like before The Walking Dead? 
Not zombie fight enough. Exactly. Oh. Alright, sweet redstone. I found some lapis too. I've never used that before. Is that that's a jewel, right? Uh yeah, but it's used for dye in the game, but um I saw quick uh recipes f uh for our uh, Christmas craft and it's used to make uh presents. Oh nice, yeah, we need plenty of presents. So I'm gonna start with the stone work. Where is the coal? There it is. Yeah, I don't know what redstone's used for. I'm st sticking all that in storage. <laughs> it's like for like electronic devices. Like yeah, you can use like a switch to open a light, a redstone light, or stuff like Wh that. Which you wouldn't know if you've never played a late game Minecraft, like I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I don't think I've I've ever had any better gear than iron. What? Yeah, like ever. Shit, son. <laughs> guess you need the patience to find the diamonds, right? Yeah, I guess. Uh. Well, I'm stumped. Oh, sweet, more redstone. I'm I'm. I'm gonna have to build some more furnaces. Do you, do you have any coal? Uh, I have like fucking. Uh, oh shit! I'm stuck. One second. Oh, I'm stuck! God damn it! Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I have 29 coal. Um, when you come back up to Winston, can you give it to me? Because we. To be honest. I don't know how to get to back to Winston. Okay. I went so far, man. I went s Inception on this. I I, I will. Uh, how many layers deep are you? No. I will. Uh, uh come and teleport or? come and find you. Uh, no. Uh, good luck. I I I, I did it once. I can do it again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I kind of jumped into a hole and then went to another hole. Oh really? Ravine! That's the word I was looking for. A ravine. Oh, okay. Man, that was obvious. Holy fuck. <laughs> derp. Derp. God damn it, mind you stupid. Now, I, I just imagine that there are some people out there actually good at this game. And they're like, you idiot, you should know it. <laughs> Who are just laughing at us, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Mm. Have you played any of the Walking Dead games? No, but I've seen them online on YouTube. Have you? I haven't played any of them, but I've heard that they're actually really good. They they look very good too. It, it's like an interactive, uh, like storyline. Like, oh, should I press this to dodge that? And oh, really? That's that, that's kind cool. of cool. Uh, like, I heard that the story on that was really good too. It, but I think it's with a black guy as a main character. Oh so. God, not a black guy. <laughs> no, I'm I'm just joking, guys. <laughs> Black black guys are, are quite quite wonderful. They're the the best. <laughs> They're the best. <laughs> I don't know what to say more. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, well there's so you you're at uh, base camp right now? Uh I'm now I'm now getting lost in the mine. Oh crap. But uh, if you find your way back, you can put that coal into the furnaces. <laughs> I'm taking a chance here. Hi. <laughs> oh, what's up? I know All I right. cheated, but the Winston's right up here. Sweet. I think we should start actually building it. I don't think uh, diamonds hey, worth it. We <laughs> should like put up signs in the mine that say like "Go this way," like with arrows on the signs. Oh yeah. So we know how to get back. Or, I, or that's I, too much work. <laughs> I don't know. I. I think we can do it offline, like, man. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. So, oh, shit, it's snowing again. God damn it. Isn't it always snowing? No, you can, it stops snowing, and it restarts snowing, but as we, holy shit, that's a lot of furnaces, but as we get closer to uh, Christmas time with this mod, it snows more, and... Oh, really? Our... That's, th that's really cool. Yup, here's coal, buddy. Yay! I've been a bad boy. <laughs> uh, I need some cooked meat here. Are you still like on your dead? Like no no food bar or? 
Yep, I've been. Uh, I'm actually on one heart. Mm. I've been on one oh. heart for like yeah. the last hour. <laughs> I guess I can do it too. I think I think I've got some cooked pork chops. Sweet. Scrumptious. Your character is like, oh my god, I was fucking vanished. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> Santa has like wasted away. He's like, I don't want to live on this planet anymore. <laughs> oh, cruel world. Why did you have to go, Mrs. Claus? Why? <laughs> Why did I have to go for that stupid elf hooker? <laughs> I only have eyes for size 65. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what the fuck? I can't hit him. Fuck you, cow. Come here, cow. Give me your burgers. Now be nice to the wildlife. You wait, you, well, you took the cow's me. burgers? Yeah, it wouldn't die. <laughs> I, I had to do something. I thought burgers were made from Chinese kids. <laughs> right? <laughs> Holy shit. I'm just saying, I work at a fast food place and the meat comes in in long wooden boxes. <laughs> Holy shit, that's funny. <laughs> With the complaint of overpopulation, maybe you're right. Nah, well, uh, see, they, they solved world hunger. There you go. That's the way they, to do it. They, they just haven't told anybody how. Oh, nice. Lapis la lazuli. Lazuli. Lazul it's lazuli? I don't know. I, I, your your point English shouldn't be. I think it's fun. lazuli. I don't know. Lazuli. I know it's supposed to be a jewel, isn't it? Like, in, yeah. in real life, it's a jewel. But in, in, in this, it's like a die. Yes, but I don't know how to make it into a die, so... Maybe we can just make other things die from it. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, using the old noodle there. I think the old noodle. <laughs> the old noodle. 